Okay, on this video I'm going to show you how to find the volume by revolving a region about the x-axis. So let's get to it. Suppose you have y equals 1 minus x squared. Uh, y equals 0 and you want to revolve the region uh, about the x-axis okay so we're going to take this region y equals 1 minus x squared is will look something like that y equals 0 is just the x-axis this is the y-axis and we're going to revolve about the x-axis so I'm going to draw a little loop right here on the x-axis when we draw a copy of this region we get something that looks like a watermelon the cross-sectional that we need in order to find the volume of this region is called a disk so we're going to find the volume of this solid by using something that is called the disk method in order to find the limits of integration so the first of all let me uh, write down what the formula for the volume of this solid is it's going to be the integral from a to b of pi r with respect to x because that would be like the um, area of the circle and then you integrate over uh, the, over the, um, the whole region from A to B and that will give you the volume of that solid using the disk method alright so to find the limits of integration we're just gonna set the y's to equals to each other so that would be 1 minus x squared equals to 0 this is my little scratch work right here that will give you x squared equals to 1 and therefore x equals to plus or minus 1 so that will give me uh, this point right here uh, where the x value is negative 1 and the y value is 1 so the integral will go from minus 1 to 1 and then the radius of this solid is just this little region right here or this little um, um, distance from the function to the axis of rotation which is in this case the um, x-axis so the radius for this particular problem depends on x and it's just 1 minus x squared so therefore the volume of this will be the integral from minus 1 to 1 of pi times 1 minus x squared and then you square that and that gives you the setup for the volume of the solid you can take advantage of the fact that this region is symmetric with respect to the x-axis so rather than integrating from minus 1 to 1 you can integrate from 0 to 1 and then double the integral and then that will give you, I took out the pi, the pi out of the integral as well so 1 minus x squared squared dx and then we'll have 2 pi and I'm gonna go ahead and take the 1 minus x squared uh, square and expand it out, so when I expand it out I get 1 minus 2 x squared plus x to the whole power and that's what needs to be integrated I'm gonna go ahead and write 2 pi and then when I integrate this I get x minus 2 x over 3 divided by 3 plus x over uh, raised to the fifth power divided by 5 as x goes from 0 to 1 and then put in 1 for x everywhere you see x you get 1 minus 2 thirds plus 1 fifth 
and writing all that together eventually you get 16 over 15 pi that is the value of that solid okay now suppose that we have the same um, equation um, I'm going to erase this um, y equals 1 minus x squared but now I'm going to um, take the region between y equals 1 minus x squared uh, y equals 1 half and I want to rotate the region about the line y equals to one half. So this time the region will go from um, here to here and I'll show you what that means in a little bit so I need to set the y's equals to themselves so I can find the limits of integration so by setting 1 minus x squared equals to a half and subtracting 1 from both sides I get minus x squared equals to minus 1 half and then that gives you x squared equals to 1 half and that gives you x equals to plus or minus 1 half and therefore x is equals to plus or minus the square root of 2 over 2 when you rationalize so therefore this point right here is no longer 1 and this point right here is no longer 1 so this is no longer minus 1 and this is no longer uh, 1 so this is the square root of 2 over 2 negative and the y value for that is 1 half and this point right here is the square root of 2 over 2 and the y value for that is 1 half and because we're revolving about the line y equals to a half and because this high point right here is one the lowest point right here is going to be zero so you're going to get like this uh, i would say thinner watermelon still using the this method the cross section is going to be perpendicular to the axis of rotation which is in this case one half and in this case the radius of the disc is going to be the function 1 minus x squared minus the axis of rotation which is 1 half so putting all that together gives me 1 half minus x squared and therefore the volume of this solid is going to be the integral from minus the square root of 2 over 2 to the square root of 2 over 2 of pi times the radius square which is in this case one half minus x squared squared and then you integrate with respect to the x-axis again you can take advantage of the fact that the region is symmetric with respect to the y-axis so you can take the pi out then you can double this integral if you just integrate from 0 to the square root of 2 over 2 and that way you don't have to integrate from minus the square root of 2 over 2 to the square root of 2 over 2. Alright, pi times 1 half minus x squared. Square this, dx. After that, you just uh, square um, uh, this quantity and then uh, simplify it and then integrate and multiply by 2 pi and then you get yourself your answer. Now, suppose that we have y equals to 1 minus x squared and y equals to 0 and we're going to rotate the region between those two functions about the line y equals to minus 1. So the region is, in this case, going to go from minus 1 to 1 because again setting that uh, those y values equals to themselves 
we get 1 minus x squared equals to 0, so x squared is equals to 1, so x equals to uh, plus or minus 1. This is where the minus 1 comes from, and then this is where that 1 comes from, okay? And the difference between this and the very first problem is that we are now going to rotate this region about the line y equals to minus 1. So a copy of that region will look something like this. Notice that the there's um, something that is going to be called an inner radius right here, or an inner circle with an inner radius. And then there's going to be something that will be called an outer circle. So this outer circle and this inner circle, they form something that is called a washer and therefore we're gonna find the volume of this solid using the washer method we cannot use the disk method because we do not get a disk we get a washer so the formula for the volume using the washer method is still gonna be the integral from A to B but this time it's gonna be pi times the outer radius um, square minus pi times the inner radius or prime of x I mean r of x squared and then little r of x uh, squared so the capital R stands for the outer radius and the lowercase r stands for the inner radius alright I need to find out what the outer radius is so I'm gonna find it. I don't know. My scratch work is gonna be like right here. R of x, and I'm gonna go ahead and erase this one from right here. And the outer radius will be the function one minus x squared minus the axis of rotation, which is minus a uh, minus one, because the axis of rotation is negative one. So this gives you 2 minus x squared. This is the outer radius. The inner radius is just, so this is, I'm going to go ahead and draw the outer radius right here, like that. The inner radius is nothing more than just the um, uh, horizontal line uh, x, uh, y equals to 0 minus the uh, axis of rotation, which is negative 1. So 0 plus 1, or just 1. So the inner radius is 1. Therefore, the volume of this will be the integral from minus 1 to 1 a of sorry pi times the outer radius square, which is 2 minus x squared squared minus pi times 1 squared and then you just integrate all of that with respect to x I'm gonna do one more step uh, so again you can take the pi out you can integrate from 0 to 1 because this is symmetric with respect to a uh, y-axis and then you multiply that by 2 and then you have um, 2 minus x squared squared minus 1 because 1 squared is 1 and then you integrate that with respect to x I'm gonna go ahead and put this little square right here and I'm gonna call this scratch work okay so that's the setup for the volume using the washer method uh, you still have to take the 2 minus x squared squared, uh, simplify it out, and then subtract that 1 from there, uh, integrate, and then whatever you get, um, put the 1, and then multiply by 2 pi, and you get yourself your volume of that solid using the washer method. In the next video, I'm going to teach you how to find the volume of a solid by revolving about the y-axis or a vertical line. Thank you.